The latest developments now in the efforts to restore service to hundreds of natural gas customers in Westerly. As crews continue to work at this hour, it's a story you've been watching closely since Wednesday night. Now here's the latest at this hour. Of the 1,600 customers affected since Wednesday, we're told roughly 500 have their service back on right now. Crews say they expect to restore the service to everyone by sometime tomorrow. Also, Governor Lincoln Chafee traveled to Westerly to survey the situation firsthand. And tonight, National Grid is answering questions on what might have caused this problem in the first place. Eyewitness News reporter Sean Daly joins us now with the latest from the South County Mobile Newsroom in Westerly. Never mind Christmas here in Westerly this year. Many people are focused on Christmas Eve. That's when natural gas service here is expected to be turned back on. Santa is arriving early in the downtown area of Westerly this year, and he's wearing fluorescent green. National grid workers are going door to door, turning natural gas service back on here after an emergency shutdown. I'm very, very happy that our gas has been turned back on because it's very chilly in here in the wintertime, and I don't like being a popsicle. There's now both hot water and hot air at this laundromat in Westerly. Pre-Christmas laundry, you want to make sure I have something appropriate to wear in front of the family. <laughs> Grateful this is open. Absolutely. Glad to see it's back open. About 1,600 customers had their natural gas service shut off this week so workers could purge the system in this area of air that somehow had gotten into the pipelines. What went wrong? How did the air get into the gas lines in the first place? Well, uh, we're, we're trying to figure that out, too. Um, apparently, uh, we were doing some work in, in Westerly, and somehow air inadvertently got into the system. Um, we will be doing a complete investigation to find out what happened. But right now, as I'm sure you can understand, and I'm sure our, our, as our customers want to know, we're very focused on trying to get the system back up and running. But until then, with temperatures dropping tonight, it'll still be chilly here for hundreds of people. In Westerly, with the South County Mobile Newsroom, Sean Daly, Eyewitness News.